Now the manhunt for the killer who posted a video of the cold blooded murder of an innocent man is entering its third day. They still haven't found Steve Stevens, but billboards are popping up around the country, including this one all the way out here in L.A. A $50,000 reward is being offered to find him. The horrific video, as you know, spread on Facebook. It was there for three hours before Facebook took it down. And today, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg will talk more about their response to the case. Could more have been done? And what should be done if this ever happens again? We'll be staying on top of what he says and all angles of this story today. As soon as Stevens is found or there's any other breaking developments in this case, we'll send you an alert on our 10 News app. Happening today, the fight to keep a killer behind bars. A parole board will again consider the case of Mark Radke. Radke was convicted more than 25 years ago for killing one of his Chuck E. Cheese co-workers here in San Diego. Radke convicted of slashing 16-year-old Jeff Rudiger with a knife and beating him with a hammer. If the board approves an early release, Governor Brown would still have to sign off on that. Now, Radke maintains he's innocent. We will, of course, be watching this closely. We'll bring you updates on our website, 10news.com. Now to some breaking news. A full-size truck slammed into a house in Grant Hill in just the last hour. The homeowner came outside to find a distraught girl, 16 years old, behind the wheel of that truck. She'd gotten into some sort of fight with her mother, according to the homeowner, then jumped into that truck and ended up crashing into the home on 31st Street. Now, a tow truck took down the huge tree there and pushed the piano. That truck pushed the piano inside that room across the house. Nobody was seriously hurt here in this incident. And today, President Trump planning to sign an executive order over a visa program that brings high-skilled workers to the U.S. Trump's order will direct federal agencies to come up with new rules for the H-1B program. The White House says the program undercuts American workers by bringing in cheap labor. But tech companies say they can't always find enough American workers with the skills they need. We have several large tech companies like Qualcomm right here in San Diego, and we'll be reaching out to several of them to hear their thoughts on these proposed changes. We'll let you know what they say tonight on 10 News at 6. And patchy fog, maybe even some sprinkles or drizzle may impact your morning drive. Downtown reported about a hundredth of an inch of light rain early this morning. Poway and Ramona dealing with some patchy fog there. Escondido, Poway, ooh, Ramona has dropped off to no visibility at times. So leave, leave extra time for travel if you're going that way. Along the coast, increasing sun and winds into the afternoon. 71 degrees there in the neighborhoods. Warm this afternoon at 76.